guys welcome back to my channel i want in a very special way welcome you all please if you are new to this channel please i want you to like comment subscribe and turn on the notification bell um today we'll be starting our seventh class that is class seven and the previous class we had and uh, we did before is that of artistic media tool of course and the functions where we have the live sketch where we have the live sketch and um smart drawing so today we'll be continuing um with rect angle tool of course once you strike the function key f6 in your keyboard it will pick this um two box rectangle now to start with what is this rectangle all about is where we draw squares and rectangles by dragging in the drawing window okay so once you pick it and you draw okay you discover that this is rectangle all right now i made us to understand that anything you pick from the two box uh, you discover that the property bar changes to the function of that two box you picked. All right, so this is just rectangle. Of course, once you draw, you discover that the field that is the inside is empty, but there is an outline that makes up the rectangle, which comes in black. Once you go through the property bar, you discover that the outline you can tick in the width. Mm -hmm. I remember telling us that if you want to color the field. You can just left click using your mouse the field will be colored and if you wish to color the outline you right click and you discover that the outline will be colored okay and um, i think in our second class that is shape two i was trying to make us understand what um this eight black box rounding either a shape or a text is all about now you discover once you write a text or a shape there is usually eight box that appears around the edge now when you count we have one two three four five six seven eight the same thing appl applicable to text the same thing eight now i think i told us that very time that it is called node right it's called n o d e now because it's more than one we call it nodes because they are more than one okay now this node help either a shape or a text hmm, to actually be drawn properly okay once i pick a rectangle and without this node holding it there are so many things you cannot do i remember using we are using this shape too to actually form a rounded rectangle from an ordinary rectangle okay we have so if this node is not there or if this node was not appearing there is no how you can either use this shape to either make a rectangle to be a right there rectangle okay so that is all about um this rectangle of course once you press down and explore you discover that we have a um, three point rectangle now in this situation once you click and draw you discover that it's coming out this way okay you discover that it's coming out this way nothing more concerning this rectangle nothing more okay this is just the three points so same thing we did in rectangle is still applicable to that of an ellipse ellipse 2 that is f7 that is circle right where we draw circle and ellipses by dragging in the drawing window now it's the same thing once you want to draw of course we have different between a round um, a complete circle and an oval if you are to draw an oval you don't need to press any down you don't need to press any key from your keyboard you just draw this is an oval okay this is an oval right this is an oval now if you are asked to draw a complete circle that is when once you pick the circle you press down your control key 
then hold your left click from you using your mouse and draw so it will give you a complete circle right of course we'll still come to this but the idea now is both in rectangle and in circle what is what we are seeing in rectangle is applicable to what we have in circle of course this um circle to have its three points now it comes like this okay so just the way we have we have it in rectangle comes like this it doesn't come straight all right it comes in diagonal shape it doesn't come straight now the idea now of this rectangle and circle is once we pick the rectangle the property bar changes you remember where we have done something about um once you pick your rect and um, your shape two and try to drag we discover that the four edge still appear in black now this time around is not it is just for because computer uh computer have seen or have gotten a sign that you want to actually um format this rectangle i told us that anything that has to do with format means changing something from what it is to different in entirely so once i press down any of the edge you discover that the whole the remaining three will join meaning if you don't want four of them to go at the same time what you just need to do is to do what to either press down your control key and press any of the edge you want then the rest will now disappear so you can now hold any of this you can now hold the one you click on now it goes like that or if you cannot do this once you um you click on the rectangle you go to your property bar where we have the four edges that is the four corner of either a shape either a circle or a rectangle then once you press down any put down any number and press enter you discover that that particular um edge that particular edge will just change to the size you give it you can see reduce it to 10 okay you can see reduce it to 10 and it will come like that so once i give it 10 you discover that that very place are curved all right so the same thing is applicable to um circle all right now of course now we can as well draw a rectangle of course all these things you're seeing here as time goes on we still explore them we know in property but once you pick a rectangle you can tick in the outline okay we will still come to this and tick in the outline then under the line styles just the way we can write a font we can type a text and change the font styles here so the same thing we have in line of course we have a very straight line where you can still go through the line style and choose different type of dot dot lines okay we we'll still come to this but the main idea of um having this class is basically for you to know that we can as well um achieve a rectangle or a circle from here of course if you pick a rectangle you can just draw okay it will give you the any shape you want but if you want to have the perfect rectangle you always hold control now when we ask that question why do you always hold control in drawing a perfect rectangle a perfect circle now you you ask yourself this question when you discover one that talks too much and then um, there is there is um there is a limit to what he or she is supposed to say at a particular point in time one can actually tell that person please control the way you talk or minimize the way you talk meaning that he or she wants that person to um limit how he or she talks okay so control now we help the user um, using this um interface to achieve something the control will help that user to actually to actually get a perfect shape that he or she wants while applying um the shapes in design the same thing with circle once you pick circle if you don't hold control instead of you giving you a circle of course you can never get a perfect circle without pressing control it's either it gives you an oval or it gives you a different shape entirely but if you must have that perfect circle you hold press down your control key and press the left key on your mouse then drag it it gives you a perfect circle so meaning um what we are
trying to emphasize here now is whenever you are applying a rectangle or a circle and you want to you want to get the perfect rectangle or perfect circle you should hold down your control key after picking it so it will give us either a perfect rectangle or a perfect circle now based on this circle once you go through your property by you discover that we are having a different um circle styles right we have that of pile we have that of um arc once i click on that of pi you see it has changed from the ellipse that is the normal rounded circle we have towards pi okay and we can also pick the shape too and adjust okay you can adjust it and if you discover in your adjustment while doing the adjustment you discover that some part of the um pi we just cut off so what you just need to do is to still go back to where we have the pile and press it and it will bring it back to pile but in situation whereby um we keep we are adjusting and something goes off from pile to the next one which is the arc don't bother about it just get um get the particular stage where you want um the pi to stop then go there join it back it comes back to pi except you want it on arc then you can just click on the arc arc of course we cut one side of the circle even though you are completing the circle and you still want it on arc you want this particular space to be open just click on arc it will just open it for you so the interesting aspect of this is for you to know how to work um how to work using your rectangle or using your circle using this property bar to achieve any of these shapes so the same thing happens to rectangle too of course once i click on rectangle you see you see what we have here so you can just explore it and um, try doing something okay and try to do something of course once we click on um, a perfect circle and end up turning it to either a pie right once you turn it to a pie fine you can still color it but in a situation whereby you turn it to an arc you discover that the color goes off because you've not joined it so that is all about um the arc right so we should just try to explore this um complete circle the pile or the arc right and of course the same way we have um, the same way the property shows us everything about the rectangle is the same way we are seeing it in um circle because you discover that the property bar as the outline width for the circle you can tick in it right you can tick in it and remember telling us that you can color the outline right by clicking on right click using your mouse okay while if you want to color the field that is the inside the empty space of course i'll bring it back to full then i can left click using my mouse okay so i believe um we've actually known um how to apply rectangle okay and um oval right and circle sorry of course which is known as ellipse here yeah. now of course once you apply the rectangle what that aid what the eight black nodes what the eight black box you are seeing in any of the shape or text is called of course i've told us that they are called node but because there are more than one is called nodes mm -hmm. it helps us to have a perfect um and text after writing or have a perfect um rectangle um shapes after drawing it okay so please if you are new to this channel i also want you to like comment subscribe and turn on the notification bell and equally to um advice that we should take time to practice all these toolbox because it really help us a long way when the main design commences so we will not be left or will not be carried away thank you for participating in this training and hope to see you in my other videos bye